This conference will now be recorded. All right. So initially, I use a simple account admin admin. So it's uh, created that user. Basically, I should be able to do all the queries like uh, uh, so Hive, Impala, Peak, etc. So it's kind of an ID like web-based tool which uh, let developers to uh, do their query so they can do database query they can uh, submit the jobs monitor the job etc so hue is an, uh, uh, just a web-based tool so that helps these uh, developers to do their job in a better way okay and uh, like i said uh, so we are uh, like in an enterprise we always prefer to use the same set of credential across our environment so we may have an active directory uh, available so we use that to uh, as a centralized authentication so i'll just uh, use uh, this set of option i think this one we already tried uh, the last week also so we were able to integrate active directory with the, uh, i mean uh, this uh, hue okay so for that what i need to do is go to the cloudera manager configuration uh, if i have not shared you this document i will share you okay so maybe i use authentication backend so this one we need to change it to uh, auth backend ldap backend to is that so this one i need to choose and uh, the next is uh, nt domain so what is my domain name okay so my domain name is hadoop.com and uh, what is my ldap url so ldap url is something like ldap colon slash slash so what is my uh, active directory server ad server dot hadoop dot com uh, 389 okay so 389 is the port ldap service is using so you can see i have one uh, server for centralized authentication uh, so in an organization you will have a, a one or multiple AD server available and everything for everything they use this active directory server so when you onboard a new company so your id will be created that all other tools will be making use of this server as an authentication source okay let me connect this so this is nothing like a windows server 2012 version so i'm just using this password and downloading this remote connectivity tool and then connecting i'll just show you how this looks like i think maybe in the initial class i already explained about this tool so this is just a windows server and and from the server manager so you can see here so we have option to create as an active directory server okay, i already did that so certificate service and domain services are already added and from tool i can just choose active directory users and computers so that will list my domain and other details my domain name is hadoop.com and i have this much organization unit so most of the users are here and this cloudera kerberos organization unit is used by our uh, kerberos enabling for kerberos enabling i have a created a organization unit other users are here like i have a user like hadoop admin and uh, if i just check the account i can see his uh, id h admin okay and uh, th that is uh, what i am going to use here and uh, ad server is this server uh, ip address or host name so i updated details here like if i just check my etc host so you can see this is the ad server so 172 uh, 31 to 25 66 that is the private ip address of this server so if you see this ad server see so that, that is the server okay and 389 is the port uh, where uh, 
you can just use telnet telnet is not there so i need to install that so telnet is a useful command that you can make use of <clears throat> because this always helps you to do troubleshooting telnet so ad server dot hadoop dot com 389 okay so this should work like this so this is because i just press the control c and it's closed otherwise the connection should stay here so that means you are able to listen to this pod if any firewall issue or service down issue uh, may block uh, your connection then that case immediately you will get disconnected okay so if i do this so it will stay here for a long time until you press control c or control d and uh, so <clears throat> here i i use that and uh, okay so that is the one uh, another option i use and the last uh, base dn so base dn is from where i need to do the searching or from where i am just uh, searching base dn i can just use like under users alone or i can have a separate uh, organization unit for this users so that also will work okay I can say create a user like a new organization unit organization unit is nothing but a directory kind of or folder kind of uh, option that we use for separation uh, say for example I can use uh, hue users or something okay see if I create new users here so just let me use that id itself and so set the password here and then finishing so i can just use this organization unit you can just go to the properties so but this is not showing the actual properties from the view just hit this advanced features and uh, yeah you uses just go to the property attribute editor you can see that uh, this one okay so if i use the base dn like this then it will search users under this organization unit only so but if i exclude or remove this portion then every users in my uh, active directory will be available in hue okay then that is another thing and uh, what is the last bind username bind user is the one which is used for uh, connecting this hue with the ldap or active directory so bind user should have the permission read access here under under this organization unit or wherever you are using so you can add uh, the read access here like uh, delegate control then you can have i have one user like ha admin and uh, check that sorry i think h admin then check that here you can see and uh, i don't know about this uh, permission thing like, but we really need the read only but since i am not 100 percent sure about this permission pattern i'm selecting all okay so basically my need is this ha admin user should have read query or it should have, should be able to query the users from this organization unit so what i'm using here is just i need that users detail so that i have i have the user here then h admin then attribute editor somewhere you can see that uh, where is that yeah uh, not here yeah distinguish name so this one we need okay so this is the name you need to use here so hadoop admin and this is the user 
and bind password also we need bind password is a password of this user so i can just use then saving it so we just uh, made these changes so this much parameters we changed at the uh, hue level and once you have done that saving then it you may need to restart the hue service just restart that and redeploy uh, the client configuration so that whatever the parameters has changed will be updated and it will do a restart of services <coughs> so um so just the so hue is a basically application um which is giving a sort of gui is it right correct correct like uh, see we have a lot of developers right so yeah, yeah, yeah. for developers to give access we have got two option one is uh, this tool hue okay so they will log into hue uh, by using some credential because uh, since we are working in an organization so people don't want to keep different credential for each and every tool like so they need the central uh, same user id across everywhere like even if they are opening their email or uh, skype chat or uh, logging to their own computer or this one also so they need the same set of user credential so that is the reason we are integrating this hue with the active directory so in any organization like they will have maintaining uh, all the users data in active directory so that will have everything like a user id but from the active directory we are just using uh, these two features like user membership and group membership user id and it's a credential that's it but along with that we can store a lot of details like your managers detail your phone number your seat number a lot of things okay the active directory itself is a very big product yeah so and is that um he runs from master uh, is that as an application uh, is it running on master node or is it running on um, all all the nodes no it's a single uh, instance so like we can say a single web server kind of thing which may be running on any one of the host and this should be able to access from anywhere in their network it's like a web, web like like they are accessing google so they should be able to access this server and it's a hosted on 889 or whatever the port they have customized so like they are using putty to connect so they they also use web browser to connect this tool okay uh, let me uh, use okay once we change that here ldap option has come so h admin and uh, so if i use h admin yes h admin is able to connect and uh, if i use uh, this user id whatever the user id i created here uh, this is test user 01 okay let me log out test user 01 and whatever the password should work okay so means uh, Test user 01 uh, is available all our environment also like ID test user 01 because our Linux box is also integrated with uh, this Active Directory. Okay, so let me just switch to this user and once prompted by password, so you you can see a K list and see you have got a ticket granting ticket for this user. So this ticket granting ticket we are receiving from this active directory server itself so active directory server behaves like a directory service plus kerberos and uh, this user like hdfs dfs ls will work for this user also and uh, with this user okay if uh, slash user if i just type this one hdfs uh, dfs hyphen ls oops, 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 oops something is wrong here 
I think uh, this client configuration has properly updated here. Um, um, so just a quick question. Take, take example, whenever we make the changes, always we get these sort of thing, deploy a client configuration. So does it mean that um, whenever we make changes, do we need to deploy this configuration changes? Or how do we know that which all parts are affected? Uh, it will show in the main page itself. Like uh, So here, it will uh, show an icon like uh, redeploy client configuration, etc. Okay. Uh, I think uh, this is also having the similar set of issue. One second. Uh, deploy client configuration. It's showing for host, but we have a total six host available. Uh, sorry, five host available. something is wrong with the configuration it's not set okay so we will see this one so has edge not this as in with the key Okay, so looks like edge node service. We will just see that master two here is having edge node as service added. Uh, gateway, HDFS gateway service should be there, but that is not added. Okay, so what we will do. We will go to the HDFS. Add a role instance. For gateway, uh, we are just going to add on all the host. Sorry, not NFS gateway. So this HDFS gateway, we will add. Okay. So uh, this error. So these people also got the same error, and they were saying uh, the reason might be so the gateway role is not added to the host. Let's just try to add that. And uh, okay, so we have added that uh, gateway services also HDFS gateway service. Now you ask a question like uh, how do we know like the redeployment is needed? 
so if you see this button you can say this is an alert that is saying like stale configuration is detected so we need to redeploy just hit that okay so just going to redeploy okay so one is completed so we will just try to connect this host one So this time after adding that uh, this error um, so master one dot hadoo.com and uh, Only on master two uh, worker, uh, worker one worker. Okay, I think on worker two it's completed. So let's see if we are able to see here okay local host is Okay, so we will let me take one of the worker and see they are also the same issue.
here also this is failing so no credentials Let me set the Java home path and then Okay, so this is the so worker one dot hadoop dot com. So what is the one thirty three? Okay, so this is fine. And uh, master one dot hadoop dot com. That is fine. Telnet so eight zero two zero that is also fine. Okay, so let's just uh, here and uh, there is an option events logs. Okay, so we will just run the host in inspector and see any configuration mistake or anything is there uh, nothing is showing any issues okay cloudera supports the version of Open JDK is not supported and So group one, uh, worker one to worker three. 
this is fine group two master one uh, this one uh, master two okay so we will just uh, go to the master one and see So M list all and then grep with the cloud error. So it will list all the packages. Uh, okay, let's make sure like, so this is installed. Okay, so this is missing here. So we'll just use ps hyphen ef uh, grep cloud error it's using different version because the java version and uh, java so this is very important so let's just check this version is available across the other This is already installed. Uh, host inspector, it's saying uh, only uh, this host, okay, it's having issue. So Java home uh, on master one. So the key tab and all might be generated by using this version. So this is all using the cloud era. Okay, that is fine. So what what we will do? uh the host inspector is something like uh, you can just go to the host all host and uh, inspect all the hosts so this option will uh, run uh, something and uh, give you a result okay so one issue i detected here is on master one so this was not there then i installed then what i need to just make slash user Java. So this one I need to update at the Cloud RAM Manager. Just to go to the all host, then configuration. So Java home directory like this. Save it. And also uh, here there is a default option slash etc default. Cloud or SEM server. Then here I can just use export Java. So what I am just going to do here is so this is require a restart let me restart all the services so first uh, restart uh, this one cloud RAM manager services
and also let's check uh, etc host is correct Okay, just a second. Uh, so there is an option to trace uh, this uh, Kerberos error. So we use export uh, krb underscore trace or something. I don't remember that. Uh, krb5 underscore trace. So we just use slash dev std out then k list Okay, so so this is also not showing.
Oops, but Okay, all the LDAP packages are there. Um, so, if um, I just say, yeah. One thing I remember, uh, Shish, uh, where when we were configuring, I think uh, I, I remember but talking about this one before um when we put the domain name i think it was in lowercase would it make a difference when we put uh, uh, when we lowercase uh, uh, let me just check that uh, No, not not here. When we uh -huh. were when we were setting up um, in Cloud Manager for the configuration for Hue. Uh, no, no, for Hue this is fine. Oh, is it fine? Uh, okay. Okay, but only thing is from the terminal I am facing uh, this issue. So from the terminal, if I just use, uh, uh, it's not able to authenticate uh, with that whatever the uh, Kerberos credential we have uh, okay that is fine but still uh, we can have that uh, but the problem is I will okay so for this time being we will just use the hue for that okay accessing and all mm, so what I am going to do here is so let's uh, I don't know this issue uh, I haven't seen much last time we had uh, normally okay let me try to regenerate the key tab and and see is there any anything we can uh, do that security and, uh, I think, uh, I think we need to. Active directory. Okay, so if you are regenerating, so there is principle contained in Active Directory. You need to manually delete the Active Directory account directly from there before. Okay, so let's uh, go here and uh, we'll have to delete. Yeah, it's saying, uh, so if you are uh, re regenerating the service principle contained in Active Directory, you need to manually delete the Active Directory accounts directly from there before regenerating. Uh, I think it's, we need to remove all of it. Yes, we will try that also. I don't know whether this will be helpful, but still, 
we can just try this okay that is done now let's regenerate oh okay so let's uh, go ahead and uh, stop all the services So this is stopped now let's stop this management service also it is done then go to the security then Kerberos select all then regenerate the selected okay so this is going to uh, regenerate uh, the missing credential so we will just see here and uh, refresh so it started creating that's it now I think all the services I need uh, delete Kerberos credentials. What is that? I'm just starting all the services. Delete all Kerberos. Okay, maybe the last moment we will try that. Uh, there is an option to regenerate the key tab. Okay, so we will just go to the services. I'm just uh, recreating the key tab. 
then uh, starting by using that key tabs I don't think it's a key tab related or uh, issue because if that is the issue the service itself won't start uh, I believe is something wrong in the Kerberos uh, this one config file krb5.com Impala As you were saying rightly she is because I think this is nothing to do with key tab uh, Because if key tab would have been there these services wouldn't be restarting Correct. Yeah um, but it's keep, um, you know, um, erroring or complaining about TGT. It's not able to get to that, um, Janet, um, get to the TGT. Uh, yes, uh, here, uh, if I use, uh, so normally, uh, okay, so if I just use a key list, I'm getting that key, key, okay. So that means I'm able to connect uh, my Kerberos server, but if I use HDFS, DFS, LS here, and uh, this time it's saying, okay, it's not connecting. Export Java underscore home equal to slash user Java. If I use K destroy and to do a K in it. Is also not working. No valid credential provided. So normally this error comes if with the gear gate destroy. You are typing this message. It should. Uh, but if we have a valid credential, now we don't have the credential. Okay. Hearing mm. persistent not found. So if I just use a K in it, I want to do a K list. Yes, I have the key available, but it's not letting me to log in or do anything. What if if we use a existing key tab? Does that work? If take example, no. if we like yeah, as the, yeah, as the, that is also I tried. Okay, we will uh, go with that. One second, in a moment. Uh, see, I have got uh, the key tab of uh, maybe this one. Let me switch to root user. Okay, so we can have the HDFS users key tab slash var run Cloudera SCM's uh, agent process, and under this directory, you can just use lsf and lrt and search with the name node. Okay, we can just go to the latest name node directory. So, this is the configuration directory. And here, 
if you uh, see you can see hdfs key tab so hdfs dot key tab so this is the key tab that hdfs is used i can just copy to slash root or wherever i need can come back and if i use klist hyphen kt okay so this is hdfs users if i use k in it hyphen kt hdfs then this one so now if i do i have hdfs user key okay so if i use uh, hdfs dfs ls flash this is not working mm. uh, somewhere uh, i don't know this is a code hadoop underscore user underscore name It is also not working. But this should work, isn't it? Because that is the yes, uh, that should work from any any host yeah. technically. Uh, I suspect some issue with uh, uh, some of the Kerberos configuration file or something. Uh, normally we have the configuration etc krb5.con. Um. Do you have an older one? The, do you have any backup? Because I have got um, a backup from running um, krb5.com. Yeah, there is something called uh, encryption uh, option we have here. I don't know that option. Uh, we can recreate from here. I'll go to the security, Kerberos credential, then configuration. Mm. And uh, let's uh, just check this option because uh, th there is an this is the option like uh, uh, manage through Cloudera manager, then it will uh, based on the Cloudera manager option, it will change that. Okay, so what I am just uh, doing here is this is the one sort of encryption which is available. Uh, let's uh, do this option and see. Mm. It's not changed. Okay, security inspector. Okay, the configured with the limited strength encryption. This also can be an issue. We didn't see this one last time, did we? When you ran the inspe uh, host inspector. Uh, uh, this is security inspector. So that is host inspector different. So under okay. host, so we have we can all host and inspect all host. And this will run as the complete check. No. Okay. Like uh, the, and we can just use a show inspector result. And yeah. here that is gone. So only this thing this is also we can uh, this is something like a performance related okay related, yeah true yeah that uh, we can this is also we can just uh, uh, sort it out if needed so uh, sorry I think what is that yeah uh, 
so this one also we can do and okay so these two things this also we can uh, do immediately and uh, that will not be much impact okay so if i do it on master 2 that is fine no math oh, sorry master one that is fine and uh, worker one that is fine and uh, so we have a master one worker one and uh, we can connect to worker two and worker three and worker four also And uh, on worker one, I can just somehow we just added at etc rc dot local, but that is not getting executed properly, or uh, something wrong. Uh, so that that is again uh, will not affect anything security or anything, but that will be a perform maybe the performance impact. But that we will sort it out here. So go ahead and log into each and every host. and uh, executing that that's it now uh, what i need uh, if i do a host inspector rerun uh, all host then inspect all host so this time uh, so this one will not be there so we will get a hundred percent compliant So now uh, everything looks good now. So even though we have changed the configuration, right? That is the reason it's all showing uh, this uh, Java proper one. That is fine. And uh, we will see, uh, go to the administration, then security. Here also we have an option like a security inspector. Just to hit that. So this will uh, run something and uh, show the result. Java configured with the limited strength encryption. Okay, then what we will do, uh, we will try to get that. If we check this. Um, okay. So one second. Uh, sample.
but uh, even after changing this the inspector okay so what i'm going to do here is just uh, going to stop everything and uh, stop the entire services and we'll see uh, first let i'm just going to stop all the cloudera services i mean uh, the cdh components and then i'm going to stop the cloudera manager services then cloudera manager and uh, then uh, restarting entire servers also Uh, what did we change, Sidish? Sidish? Uh, oh, I, I just uh, tried uh, from the security. Okay, go to the Kerberos credential. Under configuration, uh, we have an option. Like, we can let Cloudera Manager to uh, control uh, the krb5.conf. Yeah. Okay. And I just made some changes, and uh, I just thought of... Uh, uh, so that it will push this update to across all the hosts in krb 5conf all right that's fine yeah uh, then uh, this encryption and all will come so it's showing something related encryption is missing yeah, yeah. so let's uh, also we change the java also then let okay. me just stop everything then start from the sketch So then I'm just going to the host, which is a master one. Then I'm just using system CTL stop cloudera hyphen SCM hyphen server. Okay, maybe what I can do is I can just uh, restart all the servers also. So next we need to check uh, the logs also. Okay, so we will see from the logs if you can get any uh, information. So we from here we can just go ahead and reconnect. Just use a restart session then because we are connecting immediately so the credentials and on what i mean the ip address and all on change immediately so this is a master two and uh, here also this is master one then h admin So just use the K list. Uh, okay, so this error is nothing like our service is not up. Okay, so we will uh, just take this IP address and uh, log in here. Then first start these services. Cloudera management service. 
then only uh, you can see that uh, so this graphical option available so we'll see that here and start the services Okay, so the services are getting started. No hope. Mm, okay, the next option is uh, JC. Uh, okay, so we will go to the security, then click the security inspector. Okay, so this JC I have somewhere. Uh, I do docs. This is This is for eight. And uh, so this is the one i need to go to this site and download let's see mm, i have to accept this license and then uh, this jc policy file i have to download um, get this file 
then I have to use win SCP and uh, use the IP address of one of the machine. I'm taking the master and log in here and uh, send to us. I have to go to the advanced option and authentication. I need to use that PPK file and then log in. Just click yes. And I can uh, paste my file here. Okay. So I think oh sorry IP address I am just trying to copy so instead of this I need to copy this one and then paste it here and uh, I need to follow this instruction so go to the master switch to root a user and uh, Slash home centos. I have this JCE file and use this. Then slash user Java. Uh, then JRE. Lib. security that's it uh, oh sorry I need a destination as iPhone D then I need to check okay. This one I need to do it across all the host and see. And also, uh, see, uh, you, uh, you may be uh, knowing this thing because we cannot copy using SCP directly uh, because we need uh, the private key to do that, right? So SSH, if I just use uh, master to call and slash TMP or something, it, it will not work because we don't have option to connect. So for that, uh, what we do here is just uh, go and get that private key uh then uh, we have the key here and uh, cloud array training where is that key so we go to the cloud array training uh, pem file right so this pem file we just need inside that vm so what i will do i'll just copy this pm and uh, paste it in the same location so now i should be able to copy the file to all the host using this okay so i think that before that i need to okay so scp iphone i training then master uh, colon slash home center so or wherever i need uh, then what is the file name i need so this file i'm just copying uh, sorry not the master it's a master 2 okay so here i need to use centos because i can authenticate that machine as a centos only not with the root user so similarly i'm just trying other host so worker one 
worker worker 2 then worker 3 yeah so all the host i just copied and i need to execute this command from all the host so i'll just do this so from master to cd slash home centos then using this one done and uh, here just uh, let me connect again you can see the file here just to do this and uh, here also Then the last two host, this one, to start. Okay. So this is the last option we need to try. And uh, other than that, uh, then I'll just check the security inspector again. okay so this is uh, showing us uh, green now okay at least we are able to even though we are not sure we are, it will work or not but we are able to uh, rectify this error the reason is like here it was a uh, note uh, green so now we will uh, just type Still no default ticket security super bros configuration uh, encryption types Uh, default TG encryption. Okay, what I'm going to do here is 
just uh, copy this adding across all the host i don't know that this will work it is krb5.com That is also not working. Okay, so maybe I'll have to try that, but uh, in that time. So we will uh, make use of this hue for uh, accessing. Okay, so let me uh, uh, try uh, this option. Okay, uh, so for example, I'm just uh, trying some query uh, which is using Hive. Okay, create database training 01 and uh, I'm just going to create multiple databases two three four five okay and uh, so I'm just creating uh, databases <coughs> uh, two three four five you can see all the databases while refreshing uh, I think right so the reason is I have not selected properly <clears throat> so that is the reason so one two three four and uh, oh five is Right. So I just uh, uh, created uh, five uh, databases. Okay. So by using a uh, test user. Uh, so this is the same way that we can get uh, even if you use B line. Since we have the Kerberos issue here, so the B line also won't work. But here you can just use uh, show databases. Okay. Show databases. So and execute this query. So this is same as like uh, logging to the terminal and uh, listing the database. We are able to list, and uh, you can just create a table inside that by maybe for example under training one. So you can just uh, uh, select like this, or you can just use uh, create table training one dot fruits then name string then uh, price uh, I think uh, we have a number okay price int then we can have a raw format delimited then fields terminated by you can just have the right i just uh, creating i'm going to creating a, a table under training so uh, sorry under training uh, 01 we have training 01 only right so you can use this one or just uh, select that table and do the query i'm just uh, going to execute that query so this is success. 
so that means under training one if i just refresh i can see that fruit table is here and uh, it's having the name and price as having value and uh, the raw format delimited and uh, i'm just using the delimiter as comma means <clears throat> so when i uh, add something to this uh, table as a backend data i can just use uh, describe formatted to get more details about this table like uh, <clears throat> describe formatted just to use this command will give us the detailed information like what is the data type so where in which like under which location so it ha it is expecting data etc okay <clears throat> so to this location so i can just take one more uh, uh this session or i i can since my hdfs command also won't work i'm just trying to uh, do a shortcut here maybe better use the hue itself take it in one more terminal and uh, i'm just uh, using that somewhere if we have the files option unable to authenticate okay what about here uh, file browser here also it's having some issue no no Okay, so let me uh, go to this uh, users, view user and uh, create test user 01 and I'm just going to create one more user. Zero to the next user. Let's uh, delete that user. It's fine. Uh, new user. Zero two. Finish. So if i uh, log in as that test user 02 and uh, use whatever the credential we have then uh, okay so let me go to the hive queries and uh, use show databases It, it's able to list all the databases and uh, uh, I can also create the uh, tables under this uh, training okay so create a table training 01 dot fruit to name string price int then raw format delimited is terminated by whatever you can just use and uh, executing the command see uh, even though this database is created by someone else okay is this completed or uh, 
oh sorry i am just used in 02 okay let me try it in 01 and see so i, I should be able to create table here also i i means this time say a 02 user with a 01 user i created fruits so i can just use the drop table uh, fruits so this fruits table i should be able to i uh, delete so if you just see here see the fruits has gone so that means uh, if you see the hive uh, permission so it's using the weak very weak permission like uh, so anyone can do anything by default so we have a separate uh, tool called sentry uh, which uh, we can use uh, for controlling the permission so i'll show you how to control that permission like uh, now nah, so uh, what i'm going to do here is just uh, creating a group or i can create the group here itself just creating a group new uh, group and there are two types of group security and distribution we need the security and global group so the group name is cloudera admin okay so cloudera admin so this is the group which i am going to create and i can uh, add a couple of users or there like members i can keep adding the user like uh, so h admin i'm just adding here okay so Cloudera admin is the one group which I created. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just, just first step. I'm going to install Sentry. So here I have option to add the service and uh, select the Sentry. Just continue. Okay. So select the server where we want Sentry. You can choose either Master One or Master Two. And gateway, you can choose any host. Like uh, so, Sentry also require a relational DB. So I'm just going to create a database. So here, let me uh, just use MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then it once prompted, type the password. Then create the user. Create first create the database sentry okay then create user sentry admin or uh, or at just a sentry also will do identified by password then grant all privileges on sentry dot start to this user okay so what i did here is just created a database and created a user and give the complete access on that database to this user so we have the username entry database name entry and the password is password so just type the password and make sure you have a database driver software installed and this host is accessible also just check test the connection and this is succeeded and continue then continue finish so now you can see 
sentry is there okay so there are few things you need to do uh, before uh, configuring the sentry the first step is go to the hive then go to the configuration and search for impersonation you need to disable that then saving okay so that is the one thing you need to do second is just search sentry here and select the sentry service and to save so here you can see hive sentry server so server one so you need to make a note of this name server one right so these two changes the one is just enable sentry impersonate hive then if you go back to the main page so after saving that so this is affected and a lot of services need to restart but before restarting so let's make a few more changes and go to the impala here also we have a configuration and check for sentry so you can enable this one also okay and uh, the next is go to the sentry service itself and here uh, go to the configuration just search with admin okay so these are the sentry admin so we are going to add one more sentry admin sentry admin means so those people who are creating the roles or creating the privileges okay by default so these groups are belongs to sentry admin but we need one more admin like uh, cloudera admin so that group also we will just add cloudera admin over here then save this okay so once that to error okay so there is some configuration we need to uh, here just search so because this is the must configuration just save that then one more what is this yeah also we will we don't have any other option to bypass that next is go to the hue so under hue uh, we need to enable sentry for that just a search sentry so that you by using the hue we will be able to control the sentry permission so that's it so these changes we need to make and restart the first thing went to hive configuration then disable the impersonation and search with the sentry and selected the sentry and similarly go to the impala configuration and selected sentry uh, then uh, from the sentry so what we did is we just added one sentry admin group and hue also we just enable sentry so once that is done we can go ahead and redeploy or restart all the configuration that's it
okay so this is in progress this is done then finish so uh, we have uh, installed and added and configured sentry so from the configuration side that's only we needed just add the sentry then uh, from the sentry configuration side we just need uh, to add an admin uh, group here so that's what we need and for the hive what we need is go to the hive then go to the configuration and uh, just search with the sentry so here you have option to enable that uh, and impersonation we need to disable so impala also just go to the configuration and uh, search with the sentry uh, and uh, for uh, hue what you need is uh, because by using hue we can control the uh, sentry permission okay so now uh, so we will uh, create uh, certain rules and certain uh, I, I will show you now onwards we won't be able to view all the databases and all so this is the test user one right so far we were able to view show databases if you just execute this one see this is saying something some error let me log out and log in back so so from the query See, I can see no, nothing is visible here. If I just use show databases, it will only show that the default one. So though we have multiple databases available. Okay. Uh, so like I said, so we just had an admin. Okay. And uh, we, I have created an admin like, uh, so what, who all are admin? just a cloudera admin so under cloudera admin group who is present so h admin so this is the user which is present okay so h admin uh, how do admin uh, so his id is h admin so let me log in here with h admin sign out and log in with h admin and what is his password type that password So if I just use that, that is also showing as a, uh, I mean only showing uh, the default database that is not showing all the databases. So, but only thing is the H admin is a super user in case of Sentry, he can create the roles and he can define who can access and who cannot access. Uh, so first time what I'm doing is first time going to create a role What you have to do is if you are just using the terminal so create a role uh, Then what I'm just using cloud error admin Underscore role or whatever that you can use some convention to follow uh, Like so I'm just using cloud error admin underscore role. So this is a role which I am going to create the role is nothing but a some name okay and uh, it's uh, done so this is the command which i use for creating the role okay so create role means it's creating a new role and uh, with the name and there is a command called show role so that will list okay you can do uh, not only from this uh, window so you can do from the beeline uh, command window here but as i said we have a problem with the kerberos from the terminal so that is the reason so this is showing the role we created so you can just use show roles that will list what are the roles we have created so far then so uh, like i said i created the role then i have to uh, grant certain privileges okay i'm just using grant all uh v i ledgers on c 
server like i said here if you go to the hive and uh, hive configuration so you have something like uh, okay uh, so why how we have classified our resources is in hive is uh, first we have a server here okay so server by default it's written as server one okay if you go to the hive uh, configuration and uh, search with the server you can see the server name set is i don't know where is it server one yeah hive sentry server that is server one server one uh, under server one we have all the databases okay we have a database one database two or uh, we have a db3 so if i give a read access to uh, server one means you will have the read access under all databases so under database we have a table and uh, uh, table views and triggers or something like that so we have multiple uh, resources under databases so we have table available and we have some other resources also so if you give something at server one level or server level means you will have that permission across all the resources in your hive so what i am doing here is grant all privileges on server server one to role at uh, this role we will see whether this will work or not uh, grant all here i vi or i think all privileges or all on yeah this is the current index i was just confused with my sql so grant all on server means i just given the complete all means the com complete privilege so we have a select privilege so like that is called a read and we have all means select and update and uh, create privilege so the complete privilege on server server one means so under server we have a databases like i mean what i mean to say here is so i just given the complete privilege on the server one means entire system entire hive system all privilege to this role so uh, one more thing you can just uh, try here is okay so with the same user we are here and uh, there is an option called uh, security somewhere you can see okay and uh, you can see uh, uh, the roles whatever the you currently not roles repeat uh, you can see uh, this role under the server all privileges is assigned to this role but the next you have to assign this role to a group okay what we use here is first create a role then assign privileges then the third is assign role to a group this is what we do in a sentry settings so first we will create a role then assign whatever the privileges so privileges can be the server level database level or table level so we will uh, we can have multiple privileges assigned to a role and that role we can assign to multiple groups also so here what i did is so i just created a uh, okay let me copy this the things which i you typed okay and next is i can uh, uh, grant role uh, whatever the role name to group what is the group id group i can have so my group name here is uh, 
it's a what is the group name uh, I don't remember the group name okay so this is my group name cloud cloud era admin so to this group I am assigning uh, this role okay so cloud era admin just hit enter okay so grant role what whatever the role to this group so this is called a role based access control so what I did first is created a role just is by using any uh, some name then grant all privileges so it can be all or selected permission or it can be the server level or database level or at the table level to that role and I can have multiple assignment here in between then I'm assigning that role to this group so that means whoever belongs to this active directory group so let me go ahead and create one user and assign him to that uh, group so I'm just going to create a new user uh, with my name itself okay next then finish so this is the user and I'm just uh, adding him okay so simply if that user means okay let me log out from here so I won't be having the privileges by default uh, because I have a limited uh, privileges alone okay so let me close this and uh, go to hive editor then type show databases and uh, see uh, no privileges I don't have any privileges here so that is the reason I'm not able to view the databases so next what I'm going to do here is so to this group so we have a group called the cloudera admin uh, where is that group uh, how do that mean or is that in in, in that's on the top on the four oh, okay uh domain yeah here itself okay uh, let me add my id to here members so add my name check and here the apply okay so my name is added here so definitely if i log in with my id so i should have that privileges uh maybe we need to log out and log in or it takes some time okay so let me because this um syncing slightly uh take time so even if you are not able to view that immediately so no worry so just to see show databases so still it's not yet updated so no problem will take some time when we were trying earlier even though we have not given any privileges we were getting default database in this case we were not getting that one either remember uh yes so i think it looks like th there is a problem i think it's not uh, syncing you see what i mean uh yes yes because it uh, like i said it takes some time uh, to sync okay oh. uh so here you can see that go to the security now right now i did log in as h admin and uh, if i just uh, from here we have option to security so instead of uh, doing it in the command line so this gives us an easy option like here we can do from graphically just uh, hit and add so browse means uh, it will show what are the table uh, databases we have and uh, uh, what are the permissions we have assigned and it also it will show what are the roles okay so this is the role and what is the group and what is the 
uh, type of permission we have assigned. Okay, so uh, let's uh, wait for some time. Uh, impersonate. I think. Uh, Okay, let's sign out. Oh, this time it's started showing only the default. Maybe again, it take some more time to. Uh, okay, so you, this time I did log into this user. Okay, and uh, this is showing the default now. Maybe again it takes some more time to update uh, the one which we added. So coming back to the roles that we defined here. So what we need is just create a role, but uh, this with this ID, okay, uh, this ID also we should be able to create the role because this ID is part of Clouder admin. He is also belongs to the admin group. Okay, uh, what I can do is I can also just create a role, uh, create role. Uh, I can say the project one underscore role. Okay. And I can just use the grant uh, all on database. I can just use the database name. Uh, what are the database? Uh, training 01 to roll this one. Then Grant role this project underscore role to so whatever the uh, group we can have any any separate group like a project one so new group project zero one just create one group. Okay, so if I just execute this one, uh, okay, I think that permission is not updated here yet. Let's log out and uh, log in as such admin. Okay. Okay, so this is a role. Uh, okay. Uh, undefined syntax. Grant a role to project zero one. Oh, sorry. Uh, here we just need to use a group option. Okay. So this is also this is something like uh, I, I just uh, created a okay. I created a project role. So that is having the read access on training 01. 
and that is I am assigning to project zero uh, one user. So we can just uh, sign out because the normally it take uh, some time to get updated. This is still showing this one. Maybe uh, we will wait some time to update, get updated. Okay. So, uh, so first uh, understand uh, we are just creating the role, then assigning the privileges to that role, then assigning that role to the group. So group nothing but the backend Active Directory group. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, we do the permission setting in that way. So first we the role is something like a some logical name then the actual privileges that we give to that role then this role that we assign to the group then whoever belongs to that group will get this privilege so this is called role based access control so that is what we are using in uh, with the help of sentry and again the permission assignment we can do at the server level that means everything under this tree and we can do at the separate database level uh, or we can do at the table level. So here I just did at the server level. That means everything and Here I just did at the training 01 level and also we can have it at the table level also So what are the privileges also we can have multiple privileges like here? I just use uh, the all on uh, database. I think uh, we can have a select on uh, 0 2 so or, or uh, I mean update on other etc. So we can have the multiple permission assignment to that role and uh, the same role. Okay, the project role I can assign to another group also like uh, grant role whatever this role name then uh, to group maybe some something else some other different group like project 03 or whatever it may be. Okay. So this is how this works. So first we need to define the role, then assign the privileges and then uh, add it into a group. Uh, okay, so just understand uh, this is the flow that we use for Sentry. So maybe uh, it, it takes some time uh, to get updated and we can control it with the, uh, with the help of Sentry uh, here itself. Just uh, not, sorry, not Sentry, you itself. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened to this one. Let's admin. Yeah, here we have just to click here go to the security and uh, You can see what are the roles available? And uh, What are the assignment we have done so far? And uh, The groups are not yet showing here. Let me just uh, try to sort it out so Maybe the group syncing is not working even though the user uh, syncing is only working so any question so far? Okay, so if everyone is good, then we will wind up for now. So we will continue tomorrow. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. A really, really quick question. Yeah. Where do we define that SD admin will have all the privileges for you or for Sentry rather? Uh, here we have, right? All on server. To no, no, this. Where we define SD admin? Because remember, when we logged in the SD admin, admin, then we could create that cloud admin role, the first line we create dump. Here, here itself. On the first line. See. 
no no oh, oh first line uh, we are able to create this is what you are tell, talking right when we created this one that mm. time we logged in as a hd admin h, h admin mm. h admin yes so where we have given privileges to log in as a h admin to create this role oh okay okay so that is something like here we have given at the sentry so like i said we have a sentry admin uh, just use admin so by default it has set of groups so we can have one more group sentry admin uh, so clouder admin so i have that user under clouder admin uh, you understand right yeah so that uh, so admin the under, under clouder admin h admin is the one where this user under clouder admin got it got it yeah so the later i added so uh, this user whoever belongs to this group should be able to create the roles yeah only either your id should be under hive impala hue solar or kafka or the clouder admin group to create the roles sounds good or you can remove or add or remove then even though you are an admin you are not able to view the all the tables initially right so H admin was not able to view the table for that overcome you just created a role and assigned to the group actually that user itself part of this group so he was able to uh, see that yeah Okay, so any you. other question any other questions okay, in the chat what time uh, you will uh, start tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh, uh, the same time is okay for you guys if you can start at you know uh, regular like uh, 6 a.m EST your 3 30 for tomorrow it will be better if everyone is okay um so i'm in uk and we started with 5 30 then we have moved so we have moved it to what 4 30 and the problem is that i have in it's my daytime and i have got kids to take to different classes so okay. i can't juggle too much and that's the problem so i only accumulated one one hour while my kids are doing activity i'm doing my activity <laughs> but i can't move too much then I won't be able to attend it. Yeah, that, that's fine. If, if that's okay with you. Yeah, thank you. Then uh, today is the same schedule we'll do or? Uh, but, but, uh, I'm happy with that today's one, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is having? Uh, I don't need presentation. It was a mistake. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and uh, like another question is looks like uh, this HDFS uh, through Sentry because HDFS permission uh, it's limited uh, because unlike other, so only uh, we have some limitation. So only the Hive uh, metadata or I mean the backend store we can control with the Sentry. We will see that more in detail tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.